Hey, this is Dr. Fujan, and this is the tip of the week. Spring is here. The delicate beauty of flowers that are all around my backyard, celebrating Nowruz, the new day, an ancient Iranian celebration of the beginning of spring is so exciting. I've been feeling elated about celebrating with family members after one year of isolation and having to only socialize through Zoom. After getting our vaccine, we are finally celebrating face-to-face, -face, enjoying each other. Being in each other's presence is so amazing. Feeling the energy of togetherness is great. Even talking on top of each other in a gathering, which used to be really annoying, feels like a blessing since Zoom would not allow us to talk all at the same time and made us really, really polite. <laughs> I've been feeling grateful for all of the different venues of connecting that are present to us. Yes, the ability to connect to everyone in the world through technology and being in the vicinity of someone's presence all at the same time. I'm enjoying running groups and being with clients on video as much as I truly enjoy having clients in my office. And I thank you, all of you clients who are driving so far to be with me in my office. Thinking about what's new in my life, um, I'm gonna share with you a feeling of safety and security, family, union, togetherness, love and gratitude is almost felt on a daily basis. And uh, that's exciting to me. That is new for me to have such an elated mood constantly. So it is, it's wonderful. And I wish it all upon all of you. I'm also excited about new ventures, such as teaching the awareness integration theory at the university. Yay! Offering a certification program for therapists and coaches in the approach um, and creating an app based on the approach. So everyone around the world, a different um, actually language is also to be able to have the app to work through for themselves and lots of newness. And that's why I'm so excited about just this new newness coming up and that's where the spring shows up with all of the newness and brings this joy um you know it, in, it's like flourishing blossoming i've also noticed that there are behaviors and thought processes that i have to let go in order to bring all of this newness to open the space for the new ways of being such as letting go of my expectation for people to be the way i think they should be people doing things the way I want them to and grow in the timing that I set for them and react the way I think it's right. Yeah. Don't you guys feel that way at times? Most of all, letting go of the negativity as it shows up from inside myself or shows up from outside and allow us an acceptance of life showing up as is. I can choose the best of what is offered while I can choose the best of my thoughts and emotions and feelings and behaviors to offer to people around me. That is my new commitment. How about you? What is your new life? What new feelings are you experiencing? And instead of just telling me, no, everything is the same, start looking for something new. I'm positive every day brings something new for you if you start looking for it. Right? So what are some of the new feelings that you're experiencing? What new feelings do you desire to experience? What new thought forms and behaviors would you desire to have and commit to? What new experiences do you have or do you desire to have? What new ventures are you excited about in your life? What do you have to let go in order to open the space for those new ventures to show up? And what is your new commitment to yourself and others? Write them down and share them with me. Email me with them, fujanzain at gmail.com or drfujanzain at gmail.com, either or. And uh, go to my social media. Let me know what you think and what you write. I'd love to hear from you with all of your experiences. Now for more observational and self-esteem journey, go to my book, Life Reset, the Awareness Integration Path to the Life You Want. And even when you do the exercises in that book, write to me, let me know your experiences. And as you go through the journey, I love to hear from you.